Oh, what's up, people? Just a quick video. Yo, let me tell you, when you start making videos, it's hard to get back. But when you start back, you get a little rush. You gotta make our next one. And, uh, <laughs> yo, I was on my walk today and I started to think, yo, who's the top dancers in Soka? So here's a quick one. The top five dancers in Soka. Five dancers around, retired, or ever. Top five dancers. First one. Now, uh, Addison Lucia. I don't know if you know who Subans is, but yo, got more shit like. No thing. This dude have all the moves. I wouldn't say all the moves, but I like, hear the kind of dancer who you want in a party. Like, you know that one person who is in a party who has all the dance moves? That's him. That's who you want in your party. Subhans is just... He came down here like a couple months ago to do a little performance. This dude is like... He's like a mini Mr. Killer. He's like a... <laughs> it's like Mr. Killer like, but the dude is a whole vibe. The dude, he got the waistline. He got the steps. He have a little bit of the, 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 the Afrobeats moves. And uh, yeah, <laughs> Subhas is a vibe. Watch this dude, watch his music. He had a he had a hot track last year too. Sue says she like it so. Yeah, man, yeah. I like that dude, man. That dude can real dance. And it's good because, uh, shoot, one thing that's gonna keep the genre more interesting is if people could dance. Like, ain't have ain't have too much dancers these days. They feel like they could just, they don't give Soka the rap treatment. Do not give my soca the rapper treatment. It's like it's cool that people dance, but I don't like I don't like to see niggas doing that. What's a fashion trend you hate? Well, all you do is you walk on stage and you just kind of jump in place. It's, nah, that's whack. Cause it's already bad enough when you do go on stage, everybody kind of stop dancing, everybody packed up, packed to back, so nobody could dance anyway. So you gotta come with the performance. So uh, yeah, that's that's number one. Subans. And here's my next one. Now this one isn't necessarily an artist, but it's more so of a movement. It's a it's a mood. It's a set of people. Like when you anytime you want to soak a mood and you see the set of people, they're gonna show you how the real thing goes. This is, in fact, if you ask me, they have top three best carnivals in the in, in the region. At least in terms of Eastern Caribbean. So like Trinidad and all of them, Trinidad all the way up to St. Martin's. Yeah. Now watch me. Vinci Massive. Everybody out of Vinci. Everybody out of Vinci. Have you ever seen these kids? For the past 10 years, they've been doing a little dab dab dance. Like, uh, sometimes you'll see the Grenadians do it too, so it's like it kind of bled down into Grenada. But I feel it's mostly a Vinci thing, even though they sometimes use Grenadian moves and they kind of, because you know, those two cultures, they kind of go half and half, like they mix. But I say it's mostly of a Vinci thing. This Wajang dab dab. Have you seen these kids? Have you seen, like, when they put on the moves, it's just wow. And they all start to do it. They're doing it on the stage. They're doing it in the middle of the elevator. They're doing it everywhere. These kids, this is a whole vibe. And I can't wait for people to really give the, give them the, the, the flowers when this thing is, uh, when Vinci really, really starts to pop off. Because I promise you, everybody in Soka about to start doing the little dab dab dances and all of that. So, yo, big up to those kids in Vinci, all of Vinci dab dab dancers. You have to teach me. I have to learn how to watch them before the end of the year. I have to learn how to dab. Like a Vinci, because when these Vinci starts to dance, let me tell you, is vibes, <laughs> vibes. So yeah, number two, Vinci. Fresh out of VI, you already know who it is, Pumper. You see, Pumper could actually dance. Like, when I think about like a soca dancer, like somebody who could actually move, who like, who give you more than just one move, it's like, oh, basic wine. Oh, let me grab. You ever watch these other soca artists? Like, they just pull a girl on the stage and they just kind of stab the girl to death while rapping their lyrics and it's just, yeah. You see, Pumper. Papa could actually dance. Like this dude, he have 
actual moves. Like you could have no woman on the stage, woman on the stage. You could just play the beat, and here you go. And I, I, I really like to see um, that like his music is actually starting to pick up. Because normally, I don't. <sighs> shoot, let me not do it. Me and Via Soka don't always get along, but Pumper, I've been watching Pumper. Pumper's been making really hot music. And uh, yo, did you see this dude in uh, um, in VI Carnival? I think it was a uh, Saint Croix Carnival. Did you see this dude? This dude been acting a fool. So uh, yeah, Pumper, that's that's my number three on the list. But we gotta move on because I got an old school piece for you. Now, if you don't know who this artist is. You might be too young, or maybe you just get it into soca. But I'm gonna take you back. I'm just going way back to around 2007, 2008, 2009. Bashman, ten, like the the Bashman days. Allison Hines is one of the hottest things, and uh, we're like around the time of Crossfire in Beijing and Beijing. Now, there's this one group on the Beijing and Beijing, the Chinese Connection, and with the Chinese Connection came. Major stabby. But Major Stabby, this boy could dance. And, um, like he had a song called Pain. And uh, there's actually, I think it's a really hard uh, soca track. Like if you want to go on like a, a, a throwback wave, I think Stabby's pain is, is, is really good. But yo, I know you're watching these uh, <laughs> these clips. Major Stabby was a boss. So, oh, yes, yes, boss. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Major Stabby, that's a good one to check out. But we gotta move on uh, for the best, the best, best, best dancer in soccer. We already know who it is, so I have to say it. I mean, come on. <laughs> I mean, yo, can we not waste our time? The best dancer in soccer. Nyla Blackman, Miss Round and Rosie herself. Did you see that video she dropped? She had to let everybody know who's the best dancer in Soka. And of course it has to be a Trinidadian in Soka. It's, it's the best. They, 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 they started this thing, yeah? So yeah, Nyla Blackman, did you see Round and Rosie? Have you ever seen her performances? Nyla Blackman is the best. Hush your mouth. I hear you complaining right now. Hush your mouth. Na okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Who else did you expect it was? <laughs> Mr. Holly's map. Mr. Killer. Just speaking of uh, VI, uh, VI Carnival. Did you see him in VI Carnival? He still got the moves. Right when I think, every time I see Mr. Killer, I say, yo, I gotta get that move. How can I do this move? When I watch all these other dudes who came before him, with the exception of uh, Major Stabby, all these other dudes, um, Suban, Sina, Pompa, and them, they copy him, Mr. Killer. And of course, there'll be a Grenade. Boy, have you ever been to Grenade? Have you ever been to Grenade on any given day? Grenade just will dance for no reason. Of course, it'll be at the top. If it wasn't a Vinci, it had to be a Grenade. <laughs> Mr. Killer, every time this dude does not run out of moves, and then he's like, and the best thing is like he's puffing high too. Cause Mr. Killer, he's not, he's not tall. Like Mr. Killer's like five eight, five nine, right? Which is cool because when you five nine, I don't know if you're a tall dude. I, 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 I so happen to be tall. When you tall and you're trying to dance on a girl and you're trying to do like your best moves and give her like your best work, you couldn't always do it because like when she bend over, you just. You gotta squat and do all kind of things so you you know your body is compromised. But you see when you miss a killer height, you're not quite six feet, but you're not shorty like five nine, five ten. You perfect height so that you could fit any size girl, any size woman, you could do your best move. You see, cause me if I do a backflip, if I get on the side of my <laughs> if I do a cartwheel try to get on a girl, it's not it's not gonna happen. It's just gonna be my chest on her backside. <laughs> <laughs> and all my legs all up in there, but you see Mr. Killer, perfect size, perfect everything. <laughs> and every time I try that move, I, I, like anytime people try to do Mr. Killer's move, they always make an ass of themselves. They always make an ass of themselves because only Mr. Killer could do it. Surfing the stage, hush your mouth, fan. I have been surfing for years. I did it in the Soka Monarch in 2008. In fact, I think I was the first actual person in Trinidad and Tobago to surf to the capacity and the magnitude that I did. I did. <laughs> Nah, big up for you, big up for you, man. But 
but yeah that's the end of this this is just a quick video i guess it's a cheap video do what you want um, i want the likes like my video man <laughs> just give me some likes this is my cheap video of uh, best dancers in soccer i probably miss some people put them in the comments and then uh we'll come back to this we, 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 we will come back to this topic but yeah see ya boss are coming to work today i can see I see myself coming to work today. Thank you. In other words, I broke.